Welcome to this pranayama technique that I like to call calm and clear. It's the merging of two different techniques. The first, Kabbalabhati, which literally means shining skull, is actually a purification technique. And like its name suggests, what it does is it creates space and openness. It purifies us mentally, energetically, and physically. The second technique, Ujjayi, is balancing. The meaning of the word Ujjayi is victory. And its reference is to its impact on the mind and moreover, our ability to override the mind and train it to become more balanced and stable. So, what we'll be doing, and I've written the process down here on the board, it's six stages. The K stage is Kabbalabhati, initially 27 times, and then we'll do Ujjayi three times. And we're going to be gradually increasing the number in each stage. So the following stage of Kabbalabhati is 54, and the following Ujjayi is six times. And on to the last process, the last stage is 108 Kabbalabhati and nine times Ujjayi. It's going to take us about 12 minutes. The important thing is that you can do this with your spine relatively still. You can remain in a comfortable seated position throughout and you create no strain at any point in the process. Enjoy it. It should be soothing, expansive, and ultimately deepening. And because our breath rhythms are slightly different, when I end the recording, if you haven't yet finished, I'll ask all of us at the end of this practice to sit quietly or to lie down quietly for at least two minutes. Okay? So, I'll lead you through each step. Close your eyes and sit tall. Initially, create an intention for the practice. One in which the body will remain relaxed, at ease, and stable. And that the practice is able to reach the mind and create a positive impact, moving you from where you are now to a better, more optimal place. So please begin with Kabbalah Bhati, just 27 times. That should take about half a minute. Remember, keep the spine still, and you begin to sense that the whole body is getting more spacious, more clear. Then relax, and now begin to slowly deepen the breath, breathing both through both nostrils, and emphasizing the sound or the main feeling of the breath at the nasopharynx between the sinuses and the throat. Breathe in and out evenly and as slow as possible. Two more rounds. You do what's comfortable. I'm going to proceed as if you're inhaling and exhaling smoothly for about nine counts. After you finish the third round, please resume Kabbalabhati. This one will take about 45 seconds or so. Again, your spine remains relatively still. See the cleansing, the purifying happening throughout the space of the body, neck, shoulders, hips, legs, even the soles, the feet, and the hands, and the crown. Exhale all the air, and now begin to move into Ujjayi. Six complete rounds. So if you're breathing at about nine seconds, It's 18 seconds for a complete inhale and exhale. It takes about a minute and a half or so to complete. Take your time, no rush.
eyes are closed. Listen and feel into the current emanating from the throat at a subtle level, both at the level of sound, but also at a deeper level of vibration. Floods the body, floods every cell of the body. As you continue, you sense this conditioning you physically, creating balance, steadiness. It actually nurtures your seated posture. This prana spreads into the body through the full breath. The body's innate intelligence is awakened. But the slow, smooth rhythm you're establishing is also conditioning the mind, calming our emotional state. It expands awareness so that we can objectify as if we can create distance between perception and the mind itself. Please complete one more round. I'll give you just a little more time. Now we'll move to the final stage. Kabbalabhati, up to 108. Again, the last few rounds here, the body is now light, clear, spacious, transparent. Relax. And now begin to slowly inhale, exhale. If possible, up to nine, out to nine, or if you like, you can do more. All right, please continue. As awareness grows, you sense the body as a living receptacle of prana. The vessel itself is full, vital.
And at the same time, you notice you can't help but experience the mind. Becoming absorbed in the breath. Its spinning is tamed. And its higher qualities of aspiration and insight joy or joyousness and freedom all begin to come to life. Please continue for a few more rounds. Inhalation and exhalation are complete. After you finish the final round, please sit quietly. Allow your breath to flow involuntarily. And as if you sit in a on a warm summer's evening. You soak in the nurturing benefits of the practice as though the full moon shines and fills the mind and the body with its nurturing rays. the body stable and calm, the mind clear. And as it reflects on its own potential, the very source of perception, as mind sees the mind, It is exalted, lit by its own light. Om peace, peace, peace.